This year, San Diego Comic-Con brought fans a slew of exciting announcements, and not only the titles for the next two Avengers films, Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars, but also gave fans a much better idea of what films and TV shows they can expect to see throughout Phase 5 and 6 in Marvel Cinematic Universe. And can we hope that the long-rumored Hulk World War will take place in these phases? Stay here and find out. Let's start with a brief introduction about what Hulk World War is about. It's a comic book crossover storyline that ran through a self-titled limited series and various titles published by Marvel Comics in 2007 featuring the Hulk. The story in the comic book revolves around Hulk as he's banished from Earth and returns to exact revenge on the team of superheroes who wronged him. This team of superheroes includes Black Bolt, Tony Stark and Doctor Strange. These three banished Hulk from Earth but the spacecraft they use will explode and will kill Hulk's pregnant wife. Hulk will blame the Illuminati for her death, and after absorbing the radiation levels on planet Sokar, he returns to Earth for revenge. But he's also accompanied by his allies, Heroim, Korg, Elokafi, Meek, No Name, and Monk. He's full of angriness and starts his killing spree by defeating several X-Men members. Next on the list is Ghost Rider and the superhuman operative team Gamma Core, together with the new Avengers, the Mighty Avengers, and even the Fantastic Four. No one is spared and Hulk also defeats Iron Man and destroys a Stark Tower. Next, he transforms Madison Square Garden into a gladiatorial arena in which the Illuminati members will have to fight each other to the death. Hulk declared his intervention was for justice and not murder and nobody had to or would die. His plan in the comic book is to destroy New York City and leave the Avengers to their shame. The one guy who can confront Hulk angrily is Sentry who will arrive and will attack him. The battle between these two mighty superheroes will level the city and it'll last until they revert into Robert Reynolds and Bruce Banner. Finally, Hulk finds out that the explosion that started this war was not caused by the Illuminati, but by Red King loyalists and the one who chooses to not prevent it is Meek, who was hoping that this will encourage Hulk to destroy everything. This is only a quick recap of how the story goes in the popular comic book from 2007. I can tell you that there are a little million characters that are intertwined throughout the story and if anybody tries to put them all in one movie, it would be the most expensive film in cinematic history. Ever since Mark Ruffalo portrayed the character in the 2012 ensemble superhero film The Avengers, there were constant speculations that Marvel might adapt the comic book with the actor in the leading role. The good thing is that you'll hit that like button below the video right now. No really. The good thing is that Marvel Studios finally managed to revert the Hulk rights in 2020, so this means that now the studio is allowed to develop solo projects focusing on the character. Formerly, the rights for Hulk belonged to Universal Pictures. So this is very exciting news since the first MCU Hulk movie, The Incredible Hulk, was released in 2008 and it was the only Phase 1 movie to not have a sequel. But now we can hope that is about to change. I'm always angry. As things stand right now, we can hope that the She-Hulk series wasn't the only Hulk-related content and it could just be a start for other projects that are coming in the next few years. But when could we expect Hulk World War to happen? According to GWW, the new Hulk movie is already in active development at Marvel Studios and last year they wrote that the production will start in late 2022. But we are in late 2022 and nothing right now seems to be going in that direction. She-Hulk Attorney at Law was the third and final multi-episode Disney Plus series of the year and many fans consider this series as a setup for World War Hulk. For example, episode 9 of the series gave us a couple of exciting teases for the potential film, while Jen is talking with Kevin, a nod to Real World Studio President Kevin Feige, she decides to admit Bruce Banner to drop him down from space to save the story. She's telling Kevin to save it for the movie. If this doesn't indicate that there are plans for more Hulk stories in the future, then what does? until the camera is off you. The visual effects team has moved on to another project. There. On the other hand, there's still a lot we don't know about Marvel's Phase 5 and 6 plans, which means there's still a chance the studio intends to release a World War Hulk adaptation by 2025. The worst option is to wait until Marvel Phase 7, but this is just unverified information. Of course, we have to wait and see what's going to happen in the next couple of years. And what about the cast and the characters in the possible WW Hulk movie? As I told you before, the comic book story includes many, many characters. Besides the Illuminati, on the pages of the comic can be found the new Avengers team superhero group, Fantastic Four, X-Men, and the new X-Men members, then the Mighty Avengers, Heroes for Hire group, and many more. 
The movie will definitely bring Bruce Banner and Jennifer Walters. Mark Ruffalo, who came back as Hulk in the She-Hulk series, recently said that he's ready to do the film as soon as Marvel is ready. Anytime they want to do it, I'm here," said the actor. I don't know for sure, but I assume that Tatiana Maslany will give the same answer for her Jennifer Walters character. During Marvel Studios' presentation at the D23 Fan Expo, the studio confirmed that Tim Blake Nelson's leader will come back in 2024's Captain America New World Order as the main villain. This is what I was trying to explain. If you'll just get back on the table. This will be his first appearance since 2008's The Incredible Hulk, and you should smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell below the video right now. No really, Timothy Blake could also be a great candidate for the main villain in World War Hulk. Some other actor that is possible to appear is Harrison Ford, who is also rumored to bring back Thunderbolt Ross and finally turn into the Red Hulk for the first time in next year's MCU movie, Thunderbolts. We don't know if Tim Roth's abomination can be considered a safe bet to appear in the movie, but one thing is sure, he is an immensely powerful player that shouldn't be kept off the board in another Hulk movie. I already told you how the story goes in the comic book, but many things need to be specified. We need to see which of the previously mentioned team group of superheroes will be included in the movie, and that's the most important thing, because that's how we'll know which story parts from the comic will be adapted on the big screen. Many things are unknown right now, on one side there are rumors that Marvel is working on the project, and on the other side, there are guys like the well-known MCU leaker Charles Murphy, who recently wrote on Twitter that he hasn't heard any news updates about Marvel's rumored World War Hulk adaptation in over a year. However, Murphy doesn't make any conclusions, but the implication is that Marvel may even choose to abandon the idea for this film, or at least they put it on hold. But if you read She-Hulk head writer Jessica Gao's statement for TV Line, then you'll find out that Bruce likely has unfinished business on Sakaar. God knows what Hulk got up to in the years he was there, so he's got to go back and handle some off-world things that happened during that time, said Gao. Regardless of when it'll happen, it seems clear that Marvel has the opportunity to bring this intense story to life, especially with Mark Ruffalo constantly teasing that he's far from done playing the Mighty Hulk. Can I say it? No. It doesn't end well for the superheroes. Wait till you see this next one. Everybody dies. The only mystery that remains right now is when it will all come to fruition. It's definitely worth waiting for, and until further notice, thanks for watching and see you next time.